talk to me. Hey girl, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Lachelle Trans, and since in today's video, I'm coming to you with a wig review slash install on this unit you see me wearing. This unit is from Unice on Amazon. I will have them and this unit linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. On my channel, I do fashion videos, hair videos, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So again, and this unit is from Amazon from the company Unice. Inside of their box came these little goodies per usual. The unit I was sent was Unice's Easy Contour V Part Wig. It's in the style Jerry Curly. It is a V Part Minimal Leave Out Upgrade U Part Human Hair Wig tongue twister it's beginner friendly and it is 24 inches with the construction of the cap it comes with five clips one in the middle and two on either side of the parting space along with an adjustable band as well as a clip at the bottom along with some grip and then it has the easy contour piece to where you can adjust it to your head shape it's just a drawstring and you just adjust it to your head shape and tuck the string in so getting started, I'm going to show you my breakdown underneath the wig, which doesn't consist of much. I'm going to take out my leave out. I'm going to use wear this unit in a middle part. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take little leave out. Don't mind me, my hair is unwashed and it's a little bit nappy because I just took out some braids. So just bear with me. But yeah, I'm going to take out my leave out. After I get my leave out to my liking, I'm going to twist that up and clip that off to the side. And then the next part, I'm just going to put some braids on either side of the part these braids are girl essential at least for me because the clips on any type of wig or anything it hurts my head so I like to clip the clips inside of the braid so I'm just going to braid um, where I'm going to put the clips So now that my braids are done and girl yes I was tired like them two little braids just had my hands hurting anyway so after I got my braids I'm just gonna put the rest of my hair into a ponytail nothing special no product no nothing just put it into a ponytail after I get it into a ponytail I'm gonna split it into two and twist that up and pin it So now for the unit, first we got to start off by cutting off the little elastic bands. Um, I think all of the V part units come like this. But anyway, we're just going to cut that and then clip her on. And when I clip her on, that's what the braids is for. I'm going to clip her in between those braids. That way it's less tension on my head. And then as well, in the back, I'm going to do the drawstring. Um, that way it is very secure on my head. And if I want to pin this up into a ponytail, I can. So 
So now I'm gonna start styling this unit, which is pretty much just with water and my Cantu Curling Cream. I'm going to spray this unit root to end and then add my Cantu Curling Cream and then brush it with a denim brush just to define those curls. I did go in with a lot of product just because I want the curls to pop as well. A lot of product at the ends because the ends were a tad bit dry and just needed a little bit more attention. After completing the first side, I noticed that it was a little easier to define the curls if I did it by sections. I don't know why I didn't do this to begin with because this is literally how I do my real natural hair. So yeah, I just did it in two sections um, and yeah, it made it easier. So now for the leave out, I'm just going to take that apart, adjust my part a little bit, and then add the same products. This time I did go in with some Eco Styler Gel because my hair needs it. Again, my hair is unwashed, hadn't washed it in a minute, so yeah, I needed a lot of products onto my hair. For the most part, everything was blending so well. Like, yeah, get into it. It looked so good. It looked like my real hair. Um, do keep in mind that I do have 4B, 4C hair. So I already know that it's gonna dry. So that's the only thing that I was getting worried about. Right now it looks good, but you know, sis, if you know, you know. When it dries, it dries.
So everything was looking good, but again, my hair started drying and my curls started tightening up. So I was like, let me go into the front and do some face shaping layers, just a tad bit, because you know, I wanted to make it look like it's my natural hair. In the end, this is how it turns out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan at all. Just because my hair, the way my hair dried, you can tell where the wig starts and my hair starts. So, the blend wasn't a good blend for me personally. I don't know if I needed more layers. Or, I think it would have been better if this unit was a little bit more thin thick like the density I want to say that this unit was hundred and fifty percent density it didn't really say but I probably need at least 180 if not 200 the way my hair dries if you have 4a to 4b hair I think this will work better because your curls would bend, blend better but I mean it's not bad it's not bad at all though 